Hi everyone and welcome back to another vlog. It's a bit of a different vlog today. It's a mixture of videos taken from some of our favourite locations we visit in Cornwall on our recent family holiday. So sit back, enjoy as we take you around some of the great locations Cornwall has to offer. St Michael's Mount is a castle situated on an island just off the coast of Marisian on the Cornish coast. What a lot of people don't know is this is actually someone's family home. That family home is to the St Albans. They have entrusted themselves to look after the property along with the National Trust for the upkeep of the island and the castle itself for future generations to enjoy. The castle itself as you can see is split up between multiple levels, each room housing different artefacts and different parts of the castle's history. If you're a history buff, this is definitely a place you're worth coming to check out. The path that you can just make out under the water line in front of you is actually one of the main paths that you can actually walk across from the coastline to the castle itself at low tide.
as you can see at the bottom of St. Michael's Mount is an open field section where you can sit down, have a picnic and just relax with your family. This is just before you get to the main garden section. One thing to be wary of with the garden is obviously it's multi-layered and it's very tight and narrow steps. So if you struggle with your knees or are not as mobile as you'd like to be, the gardens might be a little bit of a struggle for yourself as you'll see in a moment. When the tide is in, as you can see, the only way to and from St. Michael's Mount is via boat. It's at a cost of £2.50 one way, but it's well worth the trip. When the tide is out, the path becomes visible and you can walk from the mainland to St. Michael's Mount using the path. But the boats are well worth a try. As you can see, my girls absolutely love it. St Ives in Cornwall is known for its picturesque fishing harbour, its surfing beaches and is a hub for art lovers housing the Tate Modern and Barbara Hepworth Museum and Sculpture Garden. There are several beaches dotted around St Ives varying in size, so if any of them are busy at all, it's always worth checking out some of the others. They vary from surface hot spots to tiny secluded beaches like the one you can see in front of you.
Falmouth and Cornwall is most well known for its deep natural harbour on the Fal Estuary, but today we're visiting the National Maritime Museum. Inside, it's got interactive galleries and a flotilla of model boats and several other attractions to come and check out. On our visit to the National Maritime Museum this time around, we got to see a company called Yescana, an aerial acrobatics company, do a performance called Into the Blue. It's a story about creatures of the deep, mermaids and other mythical creatures. As you can see, the kids were absolutely glued to it and it was a stunning performance. If you'd like to see more by this company, please check their website out and see where they're performing next.
Lizard Point is one of our favourite National Trust places we come to visit on the Cornish coast every year. It has dramatic cliff faces, turquoise seas and white sands and there's plenty of nature for everyone to enjoy around. There's a calf called Polpure Calf and it does an amazing array of food and it's definitely worth checking out. Well that's it for the vlog guys, we hope you enjoyed the places we showed you on our little Cornish adventure. I didn't film the full week we spent away as we spent a few days just relaxing with some good quality family time. So we'll catch you on the next one where we show you a part of the UK that's very dear to our heart. So till next time, take care and we'll see you soon. Cheers guys.